Welcome to Rockcast. Dire Sin Production. See you. I got today Sean fucking Dillard. I don't know if that's his middle name, but that's what I like to call him. A genuine Alaskan badass, original OG punk rocker. And quite possibly one of my heroes in the uh, in the entire Alaska community. Really, bam! All right. So what's up, my dude? Damn. How you been? How you doing? Oh, pretty good, man. Just uh, being at home with the kiddos. That's cool. That's cool. The wife and the kids and the and the wood walls. I like very very cabiny looking. Beautiful. Thanks. Am I messing with the video when I do this? Does it do uh, it, it just twicks for a second, but yeah. with the magic of editing, that won't happen. It kind of looks like you're falling over, but that's cool. Yeah, there's different views too, man. If you mess, well, you know, if you know this at all, like there's a gallery view. I do the speaker view so that my guest is on there. Uh, a little bit about Sean, if you don't know it because you're from Washington, but this dude's from Ketchikan, which is a huge metropolitan. Just kidding. It's a little. Fishing village mostly, right? Yeah, fishing and tourists. Fishing. Well, tourists now. It used to be a lot of logging when I was there when I was younger, but oh, no I don't shit. think they do barely any of that now. Logging's a trip, man. I, I love logging. Uh, here, it's it, they just clear out tons and tons of land that you can just go fucking fuck around with. They grew up there. If I recall, most of the original spit shine, or spit shine, <laughs> that's, that's you. The spit shine was, most of you guys were from Catch Can, weren't you? At least a cup. I remember Jason mm -hmm. Atkins. The original band. We all came from Ketchikan in 2003. We moved up to Anchorage. But we were, uh, it was Jason Atkins, Brian Vats, and Kale Garman and me. Yep, yep. Did I tell you that my wallet that Kale made me walked into I my saw that, store? Dude. It's fucking cool. Did I gave that tweaker one chance to go ahead and be honest. I was like, hey, where'd you get that awesome wallet, dude? He's like, uh, I got oh. from some tweakers. You know uh, so-and-so? Yeah, that's great. I gave him a wallet. I'm not a monster. I, I had an old wallet I gave him, and now I I can't use it because it's been all tweakedified. But yeah, they cut out the fucking cool liner and shit. But whatever, dude. That came back to me, and that was handmade by your fucking drummer, dude. Yeah, that's good shit, man. There, he, that's pretty cool stuff. He doesn't work no more, or what? He just got ripped up a little bit. Uh, well, it'll work. It's just it's 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 tweakified, man. Like <laughs> it's got yeah, they got some grease on there. You don't know what the fuck it is. I know exactly what it is. I mean, <laughs> I'm probably high enough on meth that I could turn into a, a vagina, like, no problem. And then they wrote, like, Sunflower number one in it. I'm just like, oh. And, and somebody's ATM code, I'm assuming. But what, what's the point of that? What, tweak your ATM. Uh -huh. Whatever. So just so people know, I met you, I believe. I bounce around a bit, by the way. I'm not very good at this. At the Beatles. I, I uh, think so. No, uh, it's before Beatles, dude. God, I met you. I met you at fuck. We were playing shows at this fucking pizza place in a mall in fucking Wasilla. I can't remember what it was called. Sammy's. It, might, it was. It was Sammy's, Sammy's. pizzas. Yep, yep. Sammy's. That's what it was called, dude. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I remember. Well, yeah, that's where I met you, dude. And you were playing like pre pre band band of a pre band prior to that band. Yeah, you know, before yeah. the other seven ones that you were singing in, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> which they all became awesome bands too. No, that's why. Yeah, boobs. I, I always remember that because of boobs fucked with me and told me he was in another band because I was always so high on drugs I couldn't really see reality. And I'm like, did you just play? And he's like, yeah, sure I did. Being boobs and you two will always be intertwined as as one to me. Like just it was always a unit. It was always boobs and spit on. You know. Yeah. Yeah. He, well. You, you, gave, you always used to get drunk and then give me like this awesome one-liner stellar life advice. You'd come up to me, you'd grab me, you'd be like, rocker, rocker. Oh, Don't shit. do it if it ain't real, dude. Don't do it if it ain't uh, real. And then you just <laughs> you just wander off, man. It was great. The fucking, dude, you, and then like, I just, the tons of times like that, man, I fucking loved it. Sit there and that. You guys had this terrifying car. I don't know which one of the you was driving it. Like a black beast. And we were sitting down, down downtown. Oh, see, this is what I didn't want to do. I know I'll get stuck in memory lane and I'll go off on all that shit. But just say, I've known you a long time. You're fucking awesome. You guys are, uh, 
unique creatures that uh, of the Alaska music scene that I think kept it together a lot. We played a lot of mixed metal and punk shows that you guys were just you like you guys just headlined all that shit like just we, we just played with anybody. It wasn't like a it it wasn't like a a scene thing for us. It was just like okay oh we're playing a show cool. Somebody organized it. Not one of us in the band usually ever organized a show. It was like, oh, we're, oh yeah, we're playing on Friday. Somebody told me, and then you're like, you go, you go to the show and you just play it. You know what I mean? So for years we were just had a show every weekend. We don't know how we even got them. So we yeah. just met all sorts of cool rockers over the years and stuff. You being one of them. That was the to me the maybe it's just something you look at in hindsight. But you had Beatles, you had Sammys, you had all these holes in the walls, house parties, lake parties. Like there is always music being fucking played like all the time. Uh, and these mixes of, of metal and, and shit. I don't know, Dopey at Spit Shine, Double Fines, fucking uh, Murder is Justice. Dopey was fun, man. Those guys were just a, awesome to hang out with. You know what I mean? I miss Pat. He's right over there, dude. It's just, he's, he's being a dad now. It's a fucking yeah. trip. Everybody he's, grew he's up. just turned 10, I think. Yeah, yeah, he just he's literally legit. turned 10. Crazy, Edlin's, a, Edlin's another my one boy, of my heroes. My boy's birthday's coming up. He's going to be nine real soon. Bean, Crazy. wow. My youngest just point. turned 13. Hell yeah, dude. I think I'm done, I guess, right? I don't have to be a dad anymore. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> okay, Actually, my two oldest just, uh, my son told me that with their stimulus money, they're thinking about buying me a PlayStation 4 because they're like, we've destroyed every gaming system dad ever had. We've destroyed his musical instruments. We've destroyed his houses. The least we could do is buy him a PS4. I was like, even if you guys don't, which don't, because I don't need a PS4 right now, but the thought counts, man. They That's come awesome. with them. So you, uh, were you deemed essential? Were you, uh, you guys do, I know they're running food out there. Are you working at all or? No, well, mechan mechanics are deemed essential right now. So you can go to work as a mechanic, but there's no school. So somebody has got to take care of the kids and actually makes way more money than I do. There's no way that I'm going to go to work and she's going to stay home, you know, <laughs> yeah. or we'll send the kids off to somebody's house who we don't know if, or, you know, a place where people are coming and going. I don't even know how that works right now. So I'm just staying at home being a dad and, and, uh, Mr. Like Mr. Mom, you know, that's awesome. Great movie, by the way. Uh, I'm since I've seen that one too. I don't yeah. Know I, I think I might have to watch that. it. Hey, yeah. tell Ian that ugh, that shit is dark, man. I love it. He's. I was on this side of that door. I told him, you know what? Let's go for the old-fashioned death metal open room cathedral noise. And I said, just go in that room, and I'll shut the door so you're by yourself, because I hate it when people watch me sing. And mm -hmm. I'll just sit here, and you let it go. <laughs> Jesus God, dude. I had to open the door, make sure he wasn't cutting himself. He, <laughs> yeah, no, he, he needs that. No, he that, just had some shit to let out, man. That yeah. whole album is probably a big like weight off of his shoulders you'd think after listening to it anyway oh yeah no and it, it, it is it seriously it's his, even his is not to go too deep but his counselor is up, up on it his, him and his mom have gotten closer she, she's got some questions and uh no uh -huh. it, uh i've you know me I've, i'm only music like my whole life is oddly just connected to it and and he was my boss, dude. And then when we lost that business, I saw him go downhill. I also saw him slowly turning back into a black metal head. And I was like, mm -hmm. dude, let's record your shit. And he was supposed to do three songs. And then he came out with that. Yeah. Just, okay. yeah. yeah. So now he's already working on the second one. We're doing Crotch Rot. I hate that. Yeah. I, I, I know how he, I, well, well, he streamed it on that platform. I don't know if he can get that on. To, just get himself like a YouTube channel and put it on tube so that. So instead of me having to find some channel, you know, I can just go, hey, YouTube, I can stream it on YouTube that way too, you know, if he's got a little YouTube. And you can put the whole album there. That'd be cool because pretty easy to share it that way too, you know. Yeah, no, he needs to get that going. Actually, I'll talk to him about that today. He just, yeah, but now he's on the... Uh, Everybody needs a YouTube channel, man. It's fucking cool. YouTube's awesome. Spotify's I mean, They awesome. like showing their face, that is. I thought about it a few times. I got some cameras and a drone and stuff like that, but... Dude, I, I jump back and forth. <laughs> from wanting to people to see me and like not like, i don't want you to see me kind of thing it's weird yeah well for rockers like us there's all a set of but the thing is you've you've stayed in shape the sad one is when you see like all the 80s band <laughs> no, what? what's this you look at, yeah you look great dude you look stay great. in shape i don't know yeah. man stay in shape <laughs> yeah, think of, think, just go and go find one of your friends that you love dearly that's in their 40s or something and and they're not they're not 
wearing it well. I'm just saying you've maintained at least you don't look like the uh, white white snake stumbling out of a bar. Fucking three. My, oh, I, Vince Neil. There, that's the end of it. I, I mean, we don't. You didn't oh, yeah. Neil out. You know, you could really let it all go. And well, there's a certain certain point for me too where it's, you kind of got. I don't know. I let music pisses me the fuck off, dude. I get pissed at music. Yeah. I used to, I used to just, it used to just come out of me daily. You know what I mean? I pick up a guitar every day, write something every day, and something happened, man. And now I almost can't stand it. It's fucking weird. And I think about like, oh yeah, it'd be cool. Maybe I play that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's like weird, dude. I pick up, picking up a guitar. I still pick up a guitar. We we play on the weekends and stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm at just like music's such a weird thing to me now, dude. Like, it's a trip, dude. It, may, it makes sense, kind of. I mean, it's all you've ever done your whole life. You've got so much of yourself out. You dumped out pretty much all your angst, everything you were, all the fun, all the anger, all the hate. And now, I don't know. Yeah, I've been on a hiatus with I try, but. It could be just dad mode kicking in, but I think that there's something deeper to, to it, you know, than just the dad mode because, you know, for a while there, I was still into it. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Lately, I play I play with I play music with my wife and Kale on the weekends now, and then our, my old bass player Brian from Spitshine. He's been playing lately too. So we just do we've been doing covers, punk punking out covers, you know, on the weekends so that just so we can That's, still. What's rock. Ashley play? She plays bass. Oh, she's got a she got a really nice Fender jazz bass that she's had for years. And she, when we first got together, she's like, "Ooh, I've had this thing for a long time, but I don't know how to play. Would you show me how?" And so now she's freaking. She's got the strumming pattern down, dude. She's like ding 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 ding. awesome, man. Go, girl. There's nothing like that connection. There, there is nothing. And then you got your kid coming up too. Sooner or later, he's gonna pick up interest in it. Well, one out of six of my kids did, and it's not even my blood. It's funny. All my kids are like, "Fuck you, dad. Fuck metal." But then Mitchell wears all my band T-shirts. My band T-shirts. It's got the long hair. Plays fucking by ear like Slayer. He, that kid is a weirdo. He can walk up to a keyboard and play Game of Thrones on it without ever of just hearing it once. Hearing it once, he's got so what that. What else, gift. man? Uh, what's your fascination with cats? You like cats on an oddly abnormal and strange level. <laughs> oh, I've always liked cats. Yeah, <laughs> I remember back I in the up, day, grew up liking cats. Or so I don't know, it's just one of those things. You know, some people like dogs, some people like cats. I like, I like all animals. I just uh, cats in particular. They're freaking little teddy bear right so you can like snuggle it and stuff but it's got vampire fangs and freaking evil claws you know so it's kind of like oh this cute little devil machine it's very cool i like them i actually have one right here you want to see yeah that's bob she's she's our bobtail kitty we all got all of our cats are pitch black <laughs> hey hey bob bob whatever see, that's what i like about cats they don't give a fuck but they want love when they want love and then halfway through love they might decide to bite you i respect that I'm like this faithful creature that no matter what is always happy. It, it annoys me. Man, she was I cool. Yeah, she was cool. I saw that picture you posted of her too. That's, oh. that's a good one. She's like, <laughs> she's like, get out of the way. Or she's, like, she's really intent on like, okay, making sure if there's people coming, I'll bark for you. I'll bark she, for oh yeah. She's an awesome dog, man. We, we've been trapped together far too long now. I admit uh, she's getting on my nerves. Plus she won't, she won't die. Dude. I don't think she's ever, we, we walk miles. So she's so fucking healthy. And, uh, but whatever. And, uh, how was your 420? Do you have a good 420? I was all right. I didn't, you know, being, I'm being at home with kiddos, so I can't really do what I want. You know, I can't really do what I want on 420. Yeah. You go sneak out, sneak out and have a little 420. My buddy called me, actually, a friend of mine, Jason Atkins, played in Spitshine, uh, first rhythm guitar player for Spitshine. He, uh, he and I play a lot of Battlefield Four. So we, were, we play. We were playing a game, and then right when we got done with the game, I was like, "Oh, what time is it?" And I was like, "Oh, four twenty, oh four twenty, perfect timing." So that was nice. Jason is a cool cat. I like Jason a lot. I remember him. Yeah, he's chill. Oh. He what? He's full on. He's full on dad mode too, man. What else? What's, your, what's your What's your What's your office set up here? Uh, Crotch is right there behind you at that other screen, I'm guessing. Uh, he used to be, yeah. Well, since the quarantine, that's what busted out those extra five songs is he took the half the studio home and uh, relentlessly worked on all of that shit. Yeah. So, no, normally that would be his half. That's the music studio half. This is my little podcast half. This is also where I stay until I go to bed at night. 
uh, on the other side of that wall is the weed store. My studio is, is attached literally to the weed store that I work at. Nice. That, cool. Yeah. Wow, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> and all my dreams came true until they closed the YMCA. I had the nicest bathroom in Bremerton, dog. I just uh, wake up every morning and get in my truck, drive to the to the sauna, fucking do about 20 laps or whatever. Okay, that's a lie. The most laps I've done is seven, and I almost drowned. On the seven laps. <laughs> but a uh, steam room, hot tub, a whole bunch of old man penis. Like, I, I hope I live long enough to where I don't give a fuck who sees my dick. Like, like no, man. And, and, and for some reason, around 70, your dick starts to glow like a jellyfish. Like, if the power ever goes out at the YMCA, you just grab onto some old dick like elephants and just follow them out towards the door. It's going to be great, man. Yeah. No, I don't know. I like, it starts glowing like a jellyfish. And the only reason you know is, like, you just can't stop looking at them, man. No, no, that's not necessary. You can't. You can't. And they're proud. Like, they'll there's stand there. Balls over there. Yeah, there's, there's more. A, there's a curtain and everything. They don't give a fuck about the curtain. They're just standing under cold water like, look at it. Look at it. And it's, I, oh, man. it's Why am I feeding back? Anyways, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had to throw a little bit out on you. But that, that, was, that was one of them. Uh, what else, man? So, well, you, you seem happy. I mean, you seem – you'd be settling into your, your golden dad years here. Profusely grown out a wizard beard. That's good. I'm I'm glad yeah, to see. It. I just I I feel a little bit better about myself. I freaking dyed it like a couple weeks ago, because this stuff here is white, bro. The whole wee beard is white, like straight yeah. up. I'm joking either, but you still a rocker if you got long hair, right? I, I got oh, yeah. long. I still got my mohawk. I've had the mohawk ever since I was freaking I don't know twenty or so. Still yeah, there. It's not it's not colored, but you could. You could yeah. you could rock that whatever you want, man. Oh, I look like freaking Kenny Loggins now, man. <laughs> right? Well, man, what else I got? Thank you, A, for getting a hold of me and doing this. I, I don't know if people think this is all just for my ego or what, but I've been getting on this. I I grew up watching Star Trek and video talking and not having to be in the room with people and everything else is like my fucking, I love this shit, dude. Plus, it gives people a chance to talk and and everything else. Um, I was hoping you could send me one or two tracks from Spit Shot. Shot. I keep calling it Spit Shot. You know how many times I called my own band Split Skull? Spit <laughs> Skull because of you on stage in front of people. Uh, enough to where fucking my guitar player, Wes, was like, dude, why do you keep saying spit? Are you insulting us? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So I had to explain the whole thing. to him. I also gave my only copy of your CD that I had to my buddy because he's a punk rocker here and i had to let him have it. he was supposed to burn it and give it back he never did now i think about it I, i'm 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 shitty with put uh like putting stuff onto a computer and like getting it through a wire which is supposed to be supposed to be like the easiest way to do it right i'll ask boobs i'll, I'll have boobs send me something he's gonna no, be on here too no i'm just thinking like Give me an address, and I'll just send you a CD and like. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do and that. Like, and like a couple cool it. things or something. You know what I mean? For, to take up some time. No, that's done. I'll do that, and then I'll do a follow up of this. While that's I open that's that. me. I'm the old school. Yeah, yeah no, I'll take it. Yeah, you be Give sending me a Maryland address, Sonny. You'd be sending it right to my weed store. <laughs> Makes it double cool. Also, most likely to get inspected. So. <laughs> oh shit, man. Well, we definitely will have to do another one of these. <clears throat> um, it'll take me a couple days to edit it, and I'll add cool stuff to it and uh, a bunch of info about you and, like, a rocker graphics. The rocker, man, I stole that from you. I know that was your thing, but the minute you called me a rocker, <laughs> dude, when you called me a rocker, you know, I don't know why I always looked up. I'm fucking older than you. But you, you were yeah, one of the truest, truest people I've ever met in my life. Always. Most sincere, down to earth. Don't want to fuck with you. I, I've seen you guys... I can go off on some people and shit. So punk rock, dude. Bikes, literally bicycles and motorcycles, vans, fucking every cool rock, rocker style thing I had was back in the day when you guys were stomping around. You know, you guys were legends. Fucking legends. Well, we had a lot of fun, man. It was it was cool being alive back then. I'm proud. I, I we a lot of a lot of my friends are kind of took the wrong routes and aren't really walking around on this planet anymore, man. So it does my heart good, especially you crazy Alaskan motherfuckers, dude. Well, I just got to get them to 18, then I can go back to doing whatever I want, man. That's the goal. That's the goal. Get them to 18, <clears throat> do the dad thing right, and then maybe I'll go back to rocking then afterwards. Who knows? 
who knows you might be your new you know a little little second guitar player shredding or something or better yet get him into the the producing and sound side of it all nothing like a sound guy that you can actually communicate with yeah that's what i thought i thought about like i was younger about he'll be a little cool little rocker and like a He'll have a motorcycle. I bought him a motorcycle when he was like six. I don't have nothing to do with it. Bought him a guitar when he was like seven. It didn't want nothing to do with it. So it's like a little human. Yeah, it's, it's annoying, really, right? You think when you have him, he knows what he wants to do already. I think you buy him a leather jacket. Yeah, well, yeah, Dale got a leather jacket. I got him a leather jacket. Uh, <laughs> freaking Beto. Got him a leather jacket too. He There's like a man too. <laughs> I I hope Beto's doing. It. I haven't heard of or from him in years. Like I just yeah. I owe that man a lot. When he went into into being a father too, and now he's like managing a business. Good, good and being a father. So good. all that shit he did for us like, was from passion and love of doing it, and and he got fucked over so many times and continued to try and continue to try. He. He's why, I, that's why I, I remember meeting you and Booth. Maybe it was when I really realized, like, I don't know, but it was in the kitchen, drinking out of a fucking uh, rock star can with, with Mikey on pizzas and covered in flour and smoking weed in the kitchen and watching the show out there. And the, mm -hmm. Al got that's me in, though. Before Mikey joined, joined the band. Yeah, yeah, I knew Mike from, uh, uh, what was that one band he did where they did Brown Eyed Girl? Huh? Did a line of coke with Mikey and fucking back in the day at the uh, North Slope restaurant in Eagle River. <laughs> in Bro, what, was that, what was that band? I was trying. I'm trying to think of that too. It wasn't Black Pearl, but no, it was uh, in something it bastards, was, something machine. Uh, no, that um, wasn't machine, was it? No, I'm thinking of that because like one of their logos had, had like fists and it looked like the toy machine thing. Yeah, like it's infinite something or another. Or, I, I don't know. I'm going to get Mikey on one of these now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what's cool about Zoom? I could actually do the whole, I could do an interview with all the members of, of a band at once. That would be dope. You know, have each be. of you guys on the screen or something. But this, this is just, it, I don't know. I have a, a fear of 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 ending geese? one day. What's that? Geese? <laughs> I don't like penguins. If you want to have a whole thing about penguins, we could get into those dirty, overdressed fucking pieces of shit. Ah, Dude, I saw this like picture on the web yesterday, and it was like, check out the thickness of this penguin's fur. Right? There was just <laughs> a slab of penguin skin lying there on a thing, and I was like, oh, that's kind of that's yeah. awesome. Is that how you find out? You just cut a chunk of skin off. And then you can see how thick their fur is. Just poke a little finger, just poke a little finger in there, and be like, "Oh yeah, it's like it's, it's like, like that thick." And to cut their friggin' slab of their skin off, or I maybe it was that. a dead penguin. You know, that'd be the smart thing to think. Or <laughs> they probably <laughs> killed it. Actually, they probably just killed it. Took its fur. I'm not gonna lie. No, hey, knowing humans, if I could go out there, I would. I would kill all the penguins. I just don't like their attitudes. I watched a, a National <laughs> Geographic on it and just ruined them for me because these penguins are hardworking penguins. You know, penguin don't give a fuck about anything but penguin pussy and penguin baby raising. And then they go off and they're getting these perfect rocks to build this perfect nest. And then Johnny Lazy fucked hard penguin over here as soon as he wanders off, goes to all the nests and steals the biggest best rock out of all the other nests and builds his nest. So when Waddle and Bitch comes back from the sea looking for a mate, she's of course going to go to the shiny. Well, it's basically a whole, I sound like a fucking Republican. They took my rocks and built their own house <laughs> at the socialist <laughs> penguin fucker. Uh, but I, yeah. They even penguins? I just don't like what they're, ah, fuck penguins. I don't know. It was because Steve I, Abbott. And I, I don't like bears. Was, Dude, I, just, I brought your profile up. I was going to read uh, the about you. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's my about me. Yeah, where I, bears. I don't like bears. And then you got Kitty with the balls. And then, uh, hold on, I had brought you up here. Oh, oh, yeah, Kitty both. with the balls. <laughs> no, I you have actually. Show, show a couple of those in here. <laughs> you use those as still shots. Oh, I head. will. I will, man. <laughs> no, let's see. We got Breakdancer at Gerber. Hold on, I don't know if I've taken this thing off. Oh, <laughs> shit, yeah. That was hold a long on. time ago. I yeah, don't think this is a baby uh, sauce factory no more. Snake oil salesman at Prince. That must have been oh, a I still joke. sell snake oil, though, bro. You're a, a, a bullfighter at Indigo Tea Lounge. Yeah, That's, yeah. I used to do that. I, is it because you're not allowed to have bulls in a china shop? 
Like, I'm trying to figure your brain out on that one. Okay, okay. Uh, dog sitter at Spitshine Industries. Yeah, we. I used to sit on dogs. <laughs> old, old, long story. Former, <laughs> former ultrasound tech, technologist at KFC. Okay, bro, bro. I could, I got some stories from back then. We have to get that's for another time, though. Not, not now. <laughs> Lives in Yozgat. Um, from catching. I actually had some people ask me like. So where is Yo's guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just press on the little thing, click on it, and it'll show you exactly where I live. Yo's guy. <laughs> I'm afraid. In Egypt. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I hear it's nice this time of year. It's Page Egypt. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, you can go to get drinks, sightseeing. Here's a bunch of fine gentlemen with some horse asses. Wow, this is a real thing, dude. I'm getting out of here before they tag me in something. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the next three entries are very beautiful. It's uh, went to high school at Ketchikan, uh, married to Ashley. Oh, what a, that was weird. You just went away and it said Dillard across the screen. That's awesome. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping Special that. powers. Yeah, now it won't let me go back to a regular Facebook page. It's just, I think I'm stuck here now. Yeah, oh, because of the said because it's Dillard Flash it was like boom and my magical yeah. powers just fucking race shit. My name is a killing word, man. My name is. I'm using this picture that he sent me through the messenger as my photo for this whole thing. Good <laughs> you looking, Jill. I don't know how much longer we got on this, my brother. Uh, they only good. allow forty minutes for the free one. Plus, I start panicking when I realize that the longer I go, the more editing I have to do. All but right, I think all right. This was a good chat. Um. I'm learning anything. There's lots of abilities to do. Oh, uh, oh no, wait, never mind. Yeah, but uh, to do jams and stuff. I've got some apps if you ever want to send stuff. Oh, well, I know that's not your forte. Send me you a CD. Yeah, I, could, uh, I could send some like acoustic stuff and shit like that just for you to fool around with. Yeah, I've been for sure, man. No big deal. I got, I got. I mean, I could record just some like guitar stuff and record some stuff and send it to you. I don't. Anything. I have no problems with that, man. Yeah, at anything, all. anything at I all. Right to, now, I got a couple of really nice amps too, and I need a new guitar so that I can like kind of burn, set a fire underneath me a little bit, you know. Yeah, get, the, get the creative stuff going a little bit. I think I need a new guitar. That's probably what's bringing me down. I think every last time I bought a new guitar, I got like really trashed, and like two weeks later, I busted the crap out of it. It was like nine hundred bucks. I was trashed and fucking. I got in a fight, and then. <laughs> broke the guitar and i still have a guitar because the the neck's not busted but it's just like so, i had to cover so, all the broken stuff with stickers and i'm like man I, that sucks i need a new guitar now i don't think you could ever take the rock out of the rocker or the punk out of the punk dude i think you're a punk rocker to the day you die the last guitar i bought i got drunk got the fight and broke it yeah yeah still still rocking it Oh, yeah, that's funny, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm rocking an acoustic. All my shit's in storage uh, with the other person, but I just refuse to go get it. I, I just don't want to touch it. I just learned. I just learned. Um, my hero by uh, Foo Fighters. I mean, oh, I've always good. loved that song, but I actually learned it, how to play it and sing it. Freaking a couple weeks ago. Weird so thing we now. started. We started playing that one on the weekends with our in, in our like punk mix, you know. And just started playing that song just how they play it and it turned out pretty good maybe i'll send you like a video of that so you can see that'd be awesome if you send me anything it will go into this while i'm editing it but that usually i'm really enthusiastic about editing for the first 35 minutes and then you'll notice the end of them i kind of just like you know what this is what we talked about but this one's not going to need a lot of editing because it's been a great fucking conversation um, I've been seeing a lot of weird bands that are all dead now. Like people that I grew up. Well, I was a, I, Billy Jean is not my lover. I want to cover that song. Uh, uh, hold the line, hold the line. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Drunk uh. losers never on time. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to cover all these. They basically, I take these karaoke songs and then I turn them. I slay them with metal. I, I bring people in. I'm like, it's not a way that you love, me. and then just, bleh, you know. <laughs> We have to do this again, dude. Uh, awesome. If you if, if Ashley wants to be on one, I mean, just anything. It also lets people kind of remember that we are all still out here. I, it looks like you guys are following some sort of better safe than sorry policy, which is a severely compromised. I got to work every day. I, I'm like right there next to Pothead. So I'm going to die. My wife is a nurse, so she's on the front lines. So dude, hero. we're doing the best we can. She's like 
gets she like takes a couple showers a day but when she gets home she puts her clothes on the back porch and goes to take a shower and you know it's 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 interesting way to live right now but what a craziness man we'll get through it yeah we will oh one more one more thing i wanted to drop was if you get a chance you got to listen to you got to listen to some music for me not, not you personally but anybody really i mean if you can even put this in there i don't know but you really got to listen to uh victory lap by propaganda see i'm wearing this shirt here bam victory it's lap. oh it's nice. backward but no, it's coming out it came out in november 2017 so it's a couple years old but it's, it's fucking awesome man like you oh, gotta listen yeah. to it. that and then Lagwagon just dropped an album last, oh really into this last summer and it's called railer and you gotta check that one out too the, these those two albums sum up a lot of i think what maybe some of the some of us like older punk punk slash rockers like kind of what we need or what what we what the way we, some of us even think it's just you got to check it out man it's just good stuff dude like awesome. it's hard not to walk away it's hard to walk away from either of those albums and not have taken away something really fucking awesome so that's great dude and that's awesome and that's that's a perfect ending to this right there and i will make sure everybody sees him and i will check them out here immediately uh Sean Dillard, you know I love you, brother. You are a true fucking rocker, punk rocker, and more importantly, a really good dad and husband. And I, I, we, I Facebook stalk you, dude. I see you out there at your property and your house, and man, it, it's it's going really well for you. And now, hey, man, you get to spend a lot of quality time at home, get to know yourself. Oh, what a nightmare, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you have windows and a shower. Those must be nice. I, uh, I have a bucket that I wash my feet in every couple of days. And on that note, I'm going to bid you adieu, my friend. Rock All right. On. Thank you for doing this, man. It means a lot to me, dude. Yeah, okay. rock on. Rock. Good to, uh, it's good to talk to you as always, man. Yeah, we'll see you around. And yeah, I will, uh, I'm will. i going to message you my address. I would love the CD, dude, because I will burn the yeah. fuck out of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll just send you some music, dude. Some CDs That's and shit. It. All right, man. Take care, dude. All right, Rock everybody. Out. Now I'm going to stumble around here while I try to figure out. This part will be edited out, so if you want to say anything gnarly. <laughs> Bam. Fucking awesome. Well, guys, that was Spit Sean. Uh, Sean Dillard, really good friend of mine. Uh, really inf influential man to me. Like, and th There was never anybody truer, better. Him, boobs, that whole band, all those people. And I'm hoping anybody that watches this sees this and understands what i want to do with these and we'll be on one and uh this also sets up where i can have interviews with band members a whole band at once uh boop boop boop, boop you know so anyways cute music thanks for watching broadcast 2.0 thanks for listening this is a Dyson production. You can continue to rock the zone. Stay the same. Listen to the metal. 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 Listen to the metal.